What is up you guys, welcome back to the channel, how are you guys doing today? It's Martin the Goat, thank you for stopping by, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and uh, turn that post notifications on so you're update with every single new video. Check it out guys, so today I uh, received these uh, extended inner tie rod ends from uh, P2M. These inner tie rod ends, they come with uh, rack spacers too, so I'm very excited about this, we're going to get a little bit more angle on the G, all for like under... 70 bucks they were like yeah they were 70 bucks shipped so we're gonna be putting on those inner uh tie rod ends today and we're gonna be removing the bump stops today also so that's gonna give us a little bit more angle other than that i am gonna be uh lowering the rear a little bit more today about an inch in the back and i'm gonna be raising the front a little bit because it is rubbing a little bit so we're gonna be doing all of that today and my alignment i know i'm gonna need an alignment asap but unfortunately my alignment guy he's unavailable today so i'm gonna try to get squeezed in to get an alignment tomorrow without further ado guys let's just get straight into the video so real quick guys i'm gonna just show you guys how much uh, the stock angle is and my steering wheel is mounted crooked so like that is how it's sitting pretty straight so let me just show you guys that is full lock right there not the zero angle and that is how the steering wheel sits at full lock so once we're done i'm gonna do this exact same thing over again so i can show you guys the difference All right, guys, so this is what we're gonna be replacing today right here, this uh, inner tie rod. Um, of course, you can't really see it because the boot is covering it, but it's inside of there. And the main reason why I'm replacing this is because on my other side, the driver's side, um, it does have play. So that's the, that's the main reason why I'm replacing it. But also, I got these extended ones just to get a little bit more angle. I am gonna be replacing the inners too. Not today, but later on in the future, these will be replaced also. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and start taking that off. Finally got um, the inner arm off off from the knuckle. Luckily, one of the neighbors came by and let me borrow his hammer because all I had was this mallet and I was banging this for like 45 minutes and it never came off. I stopped recording because I didn't want the camera to die. Now that this one's off, what we're gonna do is there's this clamp right here and then take that clamp off, slide it off, and then over there not sure if you guys can see it but on the other side of that boot there's another clamp down there I'm gonna untwist that one take that one off slide the boot off and then um we're gonna twist off the outer tie rod which i'll show you guys but it'll be inside where the boot is you can't see it from here but i'll show you guys that So once you undid those two clamps and you slid the um, slid that boot out the way, right, right there, uh, you have to twist. You have to twist this one off right here. That should be a 22 millimeter. You twist that off and then you just keep going until it comes all the way out. And uh, it is gonna leak out some power steering fluid. And yes, I do have my car jack on jack stands from the control arm. I don't care. I don't give a damn. So, of course we ran into the issue. Like always, not expected. But, um, we ran into the issue that the inner tie rod end, it's actually not a 24 millimeter. I've doing some research, it's a one and one quarter inch. I don't want to leave the car unattended while I go to the store to buy a wrench that is that big because I live in apartments and I don't want to have, like come back and have all my stuff missing. And I don't feel like putting the car back together. So... I just posted up on IG and asked some homies if they have a wrench that's that big and see if they can help a brother out And if they can't then I'm gonna just have to run to the store. So uh, Yeah We'll see where we go from here. All right guys good news So my homeboy chance just said that he's gonna slide through in a little bit and help me out bring me that uh, wrench so 
that saves me a trip to the store and I don't gotta put all my tools away, which is great. So shout out to you, my boy Chance, you the man. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting for him, I am gonna, one, show you guys how to remove the bump, bump stop on this vehicle. And two, I'ma just get uh, as much as I can done on the other side while I wait. So this, I didn't even notice, but um, these cars are supposed to have a little like plate right here uh, and that plate bumps to this right here uh, when you turn the wheel full lock uh, looks like someone already took that plate off my car all I have is uh, this one right here so we're just gonna remove that to 19 millimeter nut just grab it in there use a little bit of arm grease pop that little hoe out so I'm just gonna remove that one right now real quick and just like that guys this part of the bump stop is off real quick and easy just a 19 millimeter loosen it up off of there and that is it look at the boy Damn, you clean. You clean. What's up, bro? What's up, what? How you doing? Not too bad. How you doing? All right, right y'all. So, introduce you. Introduce My name is Chance Newman, bro. Right on. Chisel on Instagram. I am a static enthusiast. <laughs> all <laughs> all right, I can so really say. The boy came through with the required tools so now all we got to do is uh, so you, need you can't see it from right here, here. Right? Yeah, yeah you can't see it from here but i just gotta twist that off on the outer tie rod right. and like i was telling the viewers yes i got my car jacked up on the control arm and no i don't care <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all so i just got the uh the whole inner and outer off i kept the inner on i mean the outer so i could measure it with the new uh the new tie rods just so my alignment isn't crazy off because like i said earlier i can't get my alignment today unfortunately ain't that some bullshit bro the way the game goes these are the new ones going on as you can see oh where's the right space uh, there we go so this is going to give us a little bit extra angle from videos i've watched people went from about 31 uh degrees of stock angle to about 42 43 with just these so uh let's slap these on and let's see what happens We have to run into another little issue. What happened now is that um, my outer outer tie rod right here, as you can see, no, I'm not sure if you can actually see it or not, but the head where the nut goes onto it, it's pretty damaged. So I went back to the boy Chance's house and grabbed this uh, tap-in set. So we're gonna go ahead and try to re-thread this and uh, hopefully it works so we can get this done and over with because I am tired. We've been here for a while. So let's get it done. All right guys, so while I was having issues with this side, I was not able to um, get the threads correct with the, uh, with the thread tool kit. So in the meantime, I just worked on the driver's side. I got that side done and I went to O'Reilly and I just bought a new outer tie rod. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put this one back on right now, get this done really quickly. It's getting late, I wanna go inside, I'm tired. So I'm gonna just do this real quick, um, and then I'll probably show you guys the end results of how much more angle I got. I'll probably show you guys that tomorrow, but we'll see. I'm gonna just put this on for now. Good morning guys, what is up? As you can see, it is now the next day. It is the next morning right now. I got done yesterday with installing the um, inners and outers on the passion side. It was being so complicated as you guys saw i had to go to o'reilly and buy a new outer tie rod because the stud on the outer was stripped the head was all chipped so i couldn't get the new nut on there had to buy a new one put it on everything's good now um, and i did finish everything off so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, how much more angle i got compared to stock um, i did take the vehicle off for a test drive after i was done and i did get like a good decent amount of more angle i could definitely feel it when i'm driving And 
the steering wheel, since my alignment uh, is kind of bad, and my steering wheel is like a lot more crooked than it used to be, uh, it kind of sits in the same spot. But once I get the alignment, I'll be able to show you guys how it really looks. Guys, so I know I said that I was going to be uh, lowering my coilovers in the rear and raising them in the front and all that in this video, but since those tie rods were so got so complicated to do and ran into so many little issues i'm gonna just save that for a different video i am gonna be getting alignment tomorrow i wasn't able to get squeezed in yesterday and i can't get squeezed in today either so um my alignment guy has me in for tomorrow so i'll probably be doing the coilover adjustments right before then stay tuned for the next video guys i will be adjusting the coilovers i will be getting the alignment and getting everything dialed in how it should be thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell button so you're up to date on every single video and share this video with all your closest homies family whoever you want to thank you guys for watching peace out I'll see you guys next video